Hello survivors, welcome back to another video for you today. Guys, let me know in the comments. Guys, today we are finally gonna talk about this hero appointment. As you saw in my last video, this forced me practically to upgrade my hero, but I want to do it with you uh, from the scratch. And we are gonna do it now. So I'm gonna do with, you know, first what it comes to my mind when I think I see one of these events for the first time. I haven't watched any video about this event. I'm gonna figure it out with you. I just read a, com a comment uh, on YouTube. I'm gonna try to compare what that comment says to what I would usually do, you know, just doing the event normally. And we are gonna see what's the best strategy and then I'm gonna post the video. I guess more people are gonna comment and then we are gonna just do this uh, as best as we can to get the best of the of the stats here so what i will usually do here is just to upgrade my my strongest march so i will just go for this one for tina and then i will go for this uh, i think my strongest hunter hero is this one yeah for essie and ellie and then i will unlock my spot and then if they if it's telling me here to wait one day or I think you can also pay. I'm gonna put Hank. Where is Hank? Oh, yeah, here. Then I will put Hank here. But if it's telling me here to upload this spot using two of these or waiting, I'd rather wait, you know, because I'm not in a rush to get like a lot of stats. So you have here one March, two March, three Marches. I guess that's the, the max that you can unlock unless you there is a way to, to get more of these spots available. And then here you are getting the benefits of these stats. Let's see guys, because I have to see, okay. So here, if you unlock, you are getting these benefiting stats. But of course, it is just gonna take a lot of this like uh, material to get more infantry defense, more infantry attack, blah, blah, blah. I don't recommend you to upgrade anything yet, guys. Just try to, to claim as many materials as you can here through the dedication duty and we have here the spin the duty call do i recommend you to spend bio cuts bio caps on this one i wouldn't recommend you to spend bio caps on this one as a free to play player first of all i think you have to spend you have 10 chances and per day and it's 1100 bio caps so that's 15,000 bio caps um yeah per day that's a lot guys and this event lasts just three days with counting this day no i wouldn't spend my bio caps on this one i'd rather just spend my bio caps um for the new heroes the ones that i'm coming and i think that i'm gonna get way better stats if i just upgrade more ranks the new heroes rather than trying to just play the roulette here because that's the other thing if you spend like 10,000 every day, what is guaranteed you is that you're gonna get uh, one of these service patched and then command manual for like 30. But it is not gonna guarantee you that you're gonna get a good amount of command manual uh, here through the roulette. So I wouldn't just spend my appreciated bio caps doing that. I have collected almost one a half million. I seriously don't wanna spend on that because I'm just looking forward to my 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 new generation to upgrade it so now we are gonna go here okay if i put my best march here i'm getting here 20 percent infantry attack 10 percent defense hunter attack 10 5 percent hunter 10 percent rider 5 percent rider but if it works like the hero training where you go here for example if you go to the hero training uh, it doesn't matter which this the which like heroes the instructors instructors are as long as they are in level 80 and they are max you are getting the benefits through the others like no so max strong heroes for example as you can see here the instructors they are like purple heroes or blue heroes but they are level 80 and i'm getting here in my training area to the legendary heroes and they are getting the benefits so if i go here to the hero appointment Let's see what happened. Re remember these stats 20, 10, 10, 5, 10, 5. Because now I'm gonna re. Ah, no! Ah, I hate it. What it takes me here? I didn't wanna do that. So, okay. So I'm gonna replace this for like max heroes. You know, this one is 80. 
so I'm gonna do that one. Oh no, oh well, it was normal, no? Oh, ah, I forgot already the numbers. It was 2010 or 2015, but well, it's 5-5. Five, five. We have 2-5 here. I'm gonna just now here replace my hunter for another one in level 80. Ah, now I'm getting 10-10, ten, ten. you see? 10-10-10. Ten, ten, ten. And then I'm gonna replace this one for one level 80. And then I'm getting 20, 15, 10, 10, 10. I'm getting more benefits in stats because these heroes are like higher in rank. So instead of putting your strongest march here, you should put just heroes like in the in the training area where you put the heroes that are max. It doesn't matter which like heroes there are, if there are old generation or if they are new, as long as there are max. So that you can get the, the benefits in your stats. And remember, this like these are global bonuses. Um so they are like for all heroes. And if I just replace here Hank, I'm gonna just do this one, which is also I'm gonna do this one, which is the uh, general as well. So now I'm getting 2020, you see guys? So yeah, if I go to my stats, let's see how they were before. Uh, do I have... Let's see if I have some, yeah. I have the 1,263, 1,000, yeah, okay, like 1,263, 63. Now we are gonna kill one of the infected. Let's see this one. Now we can do the intel actually while we are here. And let's see if I get more benefits in stats, guys. Okay, I know it is done, but <laughs> okay. So if I go here, thousand two hundred seventy-four, thousand two hundred ninety-one. 1275 and i guess the other stats like uh, um got uh, stronger as well so yeah guys that's what you want to do with the hero appointment you don't want to put your strongest march there because that's what the first thing that comes to your mind is that well i should put my strongest hero there but don't put your strongest hero yeah just use it as the training area guys which is um put your heroes that you have already maxed uh and there are like purple heroes like blue heroes and you're gonna get global benefits in a squad and regarding these like duty calls i don't recommend you as a free-to-play play if you're on a spender one more time yeah spend 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 but as a free-to-play play i don't recommend you to spend bio caps on this one if you do the 10 spins i guess you get a discount like in the race place but yeah i'd rather save my bio cut for future heroes because if i upgrade my hero one more rank or two more rankers Two more ranked, sorry. Then I'm gonna get way more benefits in stat that if we, if I would get like 30 of those like command uh, manuals because those command manuals they are not gonna be enough as a free to play player to get to the level 10 or level 20, which you have to get if you wanna get a lot of benefits in stats. And we are talking about just 10%. So I get way more than that one upgrading my hero. What I recommend you is to finish all these. Uh, this one, Infected Fanes, you can finish it with fake rallies, as always, you know, it's just like uh, easy. Now, here you are getting more manuals, you see, so make sure that by the end of the event or before this event ends, you use your combat manuals and you upgrade your heroes. Now, which hero you are going to upgrade? One more time, guys. You know the deal. You are not going to upgrade your rider hero. Go for infantry. So if you go here, which hero you are going to enhance? Well, you enhance your infantry hero, guys. Enhance, enhance, enhance your infantry hero because then you are gonna get more benefits in uh, in your infantry. So I guess this one is infantry attack. I will enhance infantry attack. Yeah, if... Ah, this one is just attack. Yeah, I will just enhance this infantry, guys. And then it is gonna give me benefits in, in the stats that I want. And, and yeah, I'm just gonna wait for these ones to unlock them slowly and then by the end of the event because I'm gonna be like maybe with one of these available or, or maybe enough to unlock a spot, then I will just do it. But um, yeah, 
Just wait for the days, don't get rushed and try to spend these coins uh, trying to just jump like if you were an spender. No, just try to unlock them for free. And then if there is not enough time to unlock this one, then you might have at least coins to unlock one more spot and then you are going to get more, bonus, more bonuses. So for position bonuses preview, these ones, I have to figure this out. Um, because I actually don't know what's this one. Mm. Yeah, so I have to figure out this one, but for now, this is what I recommend you guys. So as you see, there is a difference if you put your max, your max hero, so don't go for the strongest formation. And yeah, I hope you enjoy, see you next time.